Right. Uh, yeah, if it was her uh, aunt, I, he probably didn't even have to go. But then again, he should go because he was married to her. Or either just put some money, put the twenty dollars in the card and, and the sympathy card, and just lay it on the table. You know, it's twenty twenty one. Nobody ain't doing that. So people just showing up. No, some people ain't even going. Oh yeah. Oh, because well, they can't go because of the fifty. The fifty. Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying, even even if 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 um COVID wasn't even around right now, you have people that get so detached from that situation that you know they're like okay they passed away i'm i'm not dealing with that family anymore and they just don't go oh yeah that is right that's another topic and i also want to talk about uh cremation and being buried buried and stuff. i want to talk about it too. i want to talk about that too yeah I, I really want to talk about that but okay so let's go on to the fourth one um okay so the fourth one is uh uh has been circling around the internet and stuff so if Michael B. Jordan marries Lori Harvey, is that considering turning a hoe into a housewife? I got excited about that question. Is that because you'd be like, well, first off, what makes her a hoe? She ain't no hoe. She's just dating and living her life. But oh, I the reason that. why I say that, and I'm not saying it personally, because I do believe you can do whatever you want to do. It's your body. It's, it's, you can do whatever you want. However, I think what really, I know Future is her biggest like blow up, like, oh my God, who would date Future out of them kids? But I think what's, what's making her considered like the whole thing is because of Diddy and Justin, like the father and son, like who runs through a father and son? Most people are hot. Some people are high fiving her like, you go girl. I know that's right. You know, but Jacqueline, I'm such a, you go first. What do you think about that? Um... Probably, yeah, but who's to say he's not a hoe either? Because we don't know about all the women that he done slept with. So, well, we, we said that we was like, first off, we just surprised that he dated a black woman. So, I mean, because he's that's true too. That's he's true always too. being he likes these, Daniel. Don't do that. Yeah, he, he he's a he's a salty really? lover. He does, really? he does. Granted, he likes granted wonderful there's, people. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. It's possible that he just gravitated towards those certain people, you know, those specific persons but that does well, you know, well, we've we, we, we kind of sprinkled on the topic of where um successful men do gravitate towards those women that they couldn't have or wasn't paying them no attention you know or they couldn't even get to if they was just a regular guy you know but um you know so but yeah can i add something else onto that no <laughs> yeah at the past i mean Right. I mean, who's to say she's... It's kind of her present, though. <laughs> oh. <what? laughs> I, don't, this is, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie. It's well, well, let's, well, but Jacqueline, answer that question I, I past and present. Can you turn a hoe into a housewife? Yes or no? It's, well, yes, you can. It's, okay. I guess. Yeah, anything is possible. You know what I mean? It just takes the right person to change and you gotta be Oh, you know, so you just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I think you could turn a hoe into a housewife because think about it. Most of the time, hoeing is based off of one or two things: money and love. And most of the time, most of the time, uh, the love part. <laughs> okay, well, pause real quick. Okay, Courtney says she has to leave. So, do you want to drop your your um your opinion, or you just got to go ahead and go? Can um, you turn a hoe into a housewife? Okay, I'm just going to leave with this. I don't want to hear nobody's responses because I already know what the guys in the comments going to say and I probably already know what Ken's going to say and I ain't got time. Um, <laughs> first of all, we don't know that lady business. We don't know if she's been messing with everybody to begin with to call her a hoe. She could just be dating these people. Plus, why are all these successful men still dating her knowing all this business is out there? So obviously they know something that we don't, for one. And they want to try it out. Even if she was or a or classified as a hoe. I mean, like like Jacqueline said, we don't know all his business. Maybe he just saved them post them. He could just be, and it's Michael B. Jordan. He could he has the caliber of women that he could have. Let's be real here. If you want to call her a hoe, we're gonna go ahead and call him a hoe. Let's right, just maybe, be real. So maybe they both making each other. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty huh? sure he's been a whore. Of course. Look, I mean he's been he's been named what the sexiest man alive or some shit like that. A couple I, agree I, just, I just want to I, I, I agree with Courtney. 
I just I just want people to stop calling her a hoe because I'm like y'all don't know this woman business and then for all that mess like I just I don't know I don't know it's just for, for all these men to still be dating her especially after because I mean it's not like they don't see the comments that us regular people out here are saying for That's all these right people court. to say she's doing it and then people still talking and these men still dating her and like they know something that we don't I just i I could be wrong. I could I be think nice. She's, a, I could she's be probably wrong. like the sweetest I person she, ever. I don't think she's sleeping with all these men. I think she's following her dad's advice. Granted, I don't believe in following Steve Harvey all the time, but I think she's following her her dad's advice to a multi day <laughs> and you know do what she got to do. But on that note, I gotta go. All Bye. right. See, see you next Sunday. See you next Sunday. All right. Bye, so Jason. make sure y'all follow. Bye, Make sure y'all follow her on um, Instagram, full court, C-O-R-T. All right, so let me, let me, see. okay, so like I said, I think the whole thing is like two things, either financial or for love. And most of the time when it comes to the love, it's like they automatically assume those women have daddy issues, you know? So I think it's possible to turn a whore, whore into a housewife if, like, like what Jacqueline was saying, if you could love her properly, him or her properly, and you're giving them what they, you fulfilling what they were missing. You're fulfilling that boy. You're filling it up with the love that they always wanted or that their dad couldn't provide them or their mom couldn't provide them. Or, you know, sometimes people being foster care or orphans or whatever. I think it's possible to turn a whore into a housewife. Uh, yeah. I mean, husbands be whores all the time. I mean, they be in uh, whole marriages and husbands done been ran through. I'm talking the whole community. I'm talking... Mm -hmm. I'm talking nasty. I'm talking all this stuff. And what do some of these women do? They say, oh, you know, I'm going to put that all behind us. This is my husband now. I don't care what he did in the past. You know, that's in the past. And what happens? They leave it in the past and they go on like the happy couple. So I don't understand if even if you did believe that Lori Harvey was a hoe and she got had with all these people. She for the streets. Well, you just you was with somebody from the streets because obviously she must have been from the streets before Future got with her. So now all of a sudden that she ain't with him, she for the streets now. And another thing, now that Future is in a relationship with Des Dior, oh, everybody's God. like, oh, Future, you know, this might be the one. You know, she is ch she changed yeah, the man. You know, that. this might be the one for him. I'm like, so Des Dior just erased all the baby mamas and all the kids and all the whole ways that he had in the past. Because she might be one now. So if that was the case, what if what if Michael B. Jordan is if if we want to say Lori is a whore? What what if he just say, well, she had her fun. Well, it's time for me to wipe her up and do what I got to do. Mm -hmm. Moving on. I do believe that people just hate to see. Like that's why, like, and you don't. I don't want to say they should keep it private because you can do whatever you want to do with your life. But once you like what Courtney says, because you know she don't like to put things on the internet. Once you post it, you're you're open to the public. You allow everybody to to interject their opinion into your life, your life, your lifestyle, or whatnot. Um, Ken, what do, what do you think about it? Right. No, I I, I don't think it's any situation <laughs> there where she's a whore or nothing like that. That's just a label society is putting out there. Look at look at um look at J Lo. Everybody J Lo was where she mm. she married them just so she wouldn't have that type of you know Statement. stuff said about her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then when you look at you looking at you looking at successfully rich people, right? And the way that's been modeled, it's been modeled by the soap operas. Shit, the soap operas. You had the 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 daddy dating the lady and then next thing you know the oh, lady yeah. is the, is the All man in the circle and, yeah and then she starts to date that damn the son once they get up. i'm saying you know what i mean really it's just a situation where this lady is just living her life and regardless of who she's been with or what she's done in private that's totally her business um when it comes down to her and her significant other talking about it that's on them you know what I mean? They make their decision to that point. Because I heard one dude doing a skit, right? And he was asking his um girl, like, you know, we, we know we've been together for a while. Let's have this conversation. How many people you been with? And she was like, well, you asking me how many you been? He said 50. And so she was like 50. And then, you know, she, she took that. You know what I mean? She took that on the chin like, oh, okay. But then she says seven. And he was like, oh, my God, seven? Wow, seven? 
So it's a double standard. It's a double oh, yeah, standard. For sure. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to whatever a person chooses to do prior to meeting somebody else, it's what they got to deal with in their own private life. Okay. Um, Daniel. Um, I wrestled with this question since you sent it to me. <laughs> because because of the stigma that that we're brought up under you know, still does linger in your head no matter what, male or female. It's yeah, like, man, she she's getting into these committed relationships like one after the other, and it's kind of like, okay, shorty, what you doing? But the other side of me is more so like, like Courtney said, we don't know what you're doing. It doesn't necessarily mean your legs is open. You know what I'm oh, saying? I, I don't think that. And I think they, they know they have to wine and dine her first. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And for the funniest quote I ever... <laughs> This, this, I'm probably going to get crucified for this, but the funniest quote I ever heard is, just to answer your question, can you turn a hoe into a housewife? It said, uh, in South Carolina, sometimes you just got to find a hoe and ask her to stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the funniest quote, but there's like some actual truth to that with some people. It is just like, you can turn a hoe into a housewife if you do the right things. If you, you just are the right person talking about the first question we did is there somebody for everybody she could be looking for that somebody in everybody until she finds that somebody but you also said on the um on friday uh episode you was like women sometimes certain type of women looking to be saved though you know because a lot yeah, of men based, based off what you just said about in soccer, the quote you, you said about um soccer line sometimes you find a home you just say can you can you please stop just you know? stop please uh a lot <laughs> of guys do that with strippers like instead of them going in there letting it be the entertainment she dancing you on don't have to do this and she getting all the, yeah, right, Boy, gonna, you don't like, gotta be like this yeah like <laughs> let me take you home thinking she got daddy <laughs> issues and she want you know <laughs> nigga, she's just in here trying to pay her tuition like she's trying to keep her lights on like I mean, but if you want to take care of that for her, you know, okay, you know, but yeah, so yeah. I just, you know, what I'm saying, I ain't now. If she, I don't know, I don't think, yeah. I that, think that she whole just thing is gonna be done for a while. That whole turn going to a half wise is gonna be done for after a while. Yeah, I, I agree too. I agree. With everybody got to pass. I mean, are, are, are some whole shit. Because even if, like, using what Kia said, the example, like, the guy had 50, but the girl only had seven. That's a big, like, gap. But guys, I want to say, it, guys are sometimes so petty, they're going to be like, but how many dicks you suck, though? Like, <laughs> like you be like, why does... And but it's all, it's right? just society. And that's the side of me, like, exactly. I hate exactly. to say it, that's I, one of my I don't downfalls. think it's going to be done away with. Like, guys are going to huh. always, like, compare. Because, like, it's us women that say, we're equal and you know well it's a double standard which it is true but true. Guys, guys are saying yeah but i'm a man remember when we had sean swamp on he was talking about the pole you know like you know yeah but we can uh, like pole down and you know like yeah but you still got to enter into that sanctuary like you still got to like so i don't think it's going away like guys are going to act like they're up here and they can still continue to do things and women are down here you know that's why i feel like women we shouldn't settle like no, yeah, but all right, let's like, oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, and like I said, then it will never make sense to me that the guys that say these things are the most tainted, they want such such sacred things, but they've been with all of these women. But it's just like, oh no, when I get a girl, you know, she can't they be can't take through. what she they dish out, she can't do this, she can't do this. Is. Like, bro, bro. You, a, you're not I'm about say to something. take something so oh. pure and tainted and think that's supposed to be the way that it goes. No, you don't get that choice. Like, you don't get to say, oh, I want something so pure, but it's okay for me to be all, all nasty and slept with this person, that person, STD here, STD there. But you want somebody practically a virgin, only had one sex partner in a life. Like, what kind of sense does that make? I'm going to say, you know I'm gonna say this right here. And the reason and why is because... start talking, like, do they be thinking, like, does this even make sense what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make sense. The, the, I don't I'm going to say something that all the fellas is probably watching this going to be like, you telling on us. But we just hey, can't, we can't take, can't correct me if I'm wrong. We can't take the same type of hurt that we dish out. We just can't. <laughs> Oh, so yes, that ain't nothing the to, problem is the, the insecurities come from because men have been a whole a whore 
and them being in all these different things and I had their own experiences. Now they're like, man, like I done did some dog stuff. So if I got, if I, if I meet a woman on that same level, I'd be like, I done did some dog stuff too. They ain't gonna be able to take that. And you know what? It's I don't just understand. What it is. Guys can cheat so many times, but when a woman cheat one time and he finds Oh, they go to cardiac arrest. Yeah, oh my God, I can't believe you did this to me. All I did oh. was jack him off one time and you're going to leave me? And you, but you want me to be a stepmother to this cross-eyed baby that you had with this bald head? Like, it don't make no Ashley. sense. Why the baby got to be cross-eyed? Don't bring the babies into this. Because the mama was cross-eyed, you know. Oh my God. So I don't understand like the unrealistic pressures that men put on us. They be like, we, they want us to be these precious jewels, you know. They don't want nobody else. To, they want to be like, oh, that's my woman. I ain't worried about that. But yet, I got to go to Walmart and know that the cashier done slept with you. The bitch in the deli done slept with you. The bitch oh that's God. stocking the canned goods done slept with you. Like, I, that's why I, I, I ain't. I ain't. That, I'm telling you, they must think we won't use goods. They must be thinking we okay with just having somebody who them being with this person, that person, like, oh, that's like that, like that's supposed to be fine. Like, so what? Like, some, you know, I have to ask, at, you know what? At this I, point, I, I got a reputation. Point, right. At this point, I want my men like I want my fruits and vegetables organic. Okay, I now. Want, I don't want no extra, like, that's what I'm saying. I'll take a mix of mid ugly dude and a cornball. I'll take it because I don't mean nobody paying no attention, but me probably in a couple of Because he's a cornball don't mean he's ugly. I'm yes. a cornball and I'm cute. Oh, well, wait, okay, well, now you better say that. That's what I'm saying. But like most women <laughs> want the popular guys, the guys that's on yeah. the rims, the guys that's that's fine, they got the pretty eyes and the good hair. I you know, I don't want nobody with no good hair. I don't, I don't need them problems. I don't I don't need that. Our extra light skin. And I, I don't listen. I discriminate when it comes to fine men. You're not gonna get on that. <laughs> well, that's gonna we'll be, be a whole nother topic. You know, on that I know show, that's, who, that's one topic for the whole night. That's gonna be the whole gonna be like, podcast. Who, who wanna date an ugly nigga? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> and I bet not have no problems with it either. I don't already <laughs> told you my thoughts on that. So let's go to the fifth topic because we got um Daniel has to go. Um he has a, a performance tonight. Okay. Well, 